Hello everybody, Brad Pointer here with another read, with not another reaction. Today is a kind of a channel update. A little emotional. Um, things haven't been going great, but they've been going good. So, how does that make sense? How does that make sense? Well, I just wanted to let y'all know I've, I've been, it's been a while since I did some reactions, and I'm going to try to do some today. So, you know. Also, full disclosure, I have been imbibing of some fine Franzia tonight. Uh, their Pinot Grigio in particular. Um, and that leads me into the first part of the update is my new job. Uh, my new job is crazy random hours, but I really enjoy it. I'm working at a liquor store. Um, I am doing good. I think, I, I think I'm performing well there. Um, I'm getting about 16 to 20,000 steps a day, uh, running, uh, bottles you know having a great time doing that i really enjoy it um the worst parts are the freezer the beer cooler you know that's a that's a day you know for a guy like me who's more comfortable with you know the warmth um uh, but i really enjoy it <laughs> it's a great job the the humans that i work with on a daily basis um everybody is a character and uh everybody's fun so you know what are, what is there what else is there uh you know everybody is a good time and uh we've got some real hard workers and i hope to count myself amongst them uh but anyway um yeah that's that's go that's but the hours have really got my schedule and recording and all of those things kind of jacked at this point um cheers i know you're like brad you're drinking wine out of a cup that says something about her his majesty well that's right But I have to tell you, here's some, here's some more on the full disclosure. Um, in September of last year, September 2022, I started a diet that was um, what I now know is the lion's diet. You know, um, that's a diet that is beef and beef and water. So basically, you can, you know, anything that comes off of a cow, you're okay with, um, you know, except for the products that they produce. You can't do that. But um, I went hard on that for three months until last December. Um, in that three months, I lost 65 pounds, and I... Um, yeah, I, my psoriasis is so much better. Look at that. I don't know. I've got it oiled up right now, but like right here on my arm, see that? See that spot right there? Here, I'll see if we can. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's a little glary because of the, because of the oils. This one might be a little, a little more visible. But that's all scarring, and that was a great big scale as they call it a psoriasis you know patch um my legs were i was basically covered 35 percent of my body in uh, psoriasis and i've done a lot of you know try this okay that didn't break me out okay try this okay that didn't break me out uh try this oh and I've basically found anything with flour in it. 
Uh, anything with any kind of wheat is bad. Uh, less bad is corn. Corn still does it, uh, but it's not as immediate and not as so. You know, there are some things. Pork rinds are are free game, um, as is bacon and pork and all those things. So I'm more on a on a carnivore diet. Uh, milk and corn-based cereals are not too bad, um, you know, but you will pay a consequence. It's going to be itchy the next day. Um, so there are things, but look, I mean, I'm in great shape. I'm down to less than, uh, you know, I've been since I was a teenager, um, as far as weight and that wasn't the goal the goal was to stop itching and uh that goal is not quite mission accomplished but it is so much better i mean okay here i'm going to show you guys my leg okay don't take any offense but i don't know if it shows up well but all that scarring on my leg that has has is scarring now instead of a big scale or a big bunch of scales that crack and bleed and be painful and evil and you know it was a curse upon me and it has i would say almost miraculously but it was hard work i mean it's hard to stop your eating habits. I used to have peanut butter and crackers for lunch every day because, you know, it's cheap and, you know, I'm not exactly a wealthy man. But, uh, you know, I did my best to stick with it. Not that I was weak, you know. I'm not going to say any kind of thing about my inner strength because I failed a lot and I've failed a lot recently I'm more broke out now on my back than I have been since I started the diet because you know almost a year in those cravings for cookies they, they kick in those cravings for a bagel you know um, even an old hillbilly wants a bagel every now and then you know even an old hillbilly would like a peanut butter sandwich and I've had to stay away from peanut butter which was my main source of sustenance when I was between 245 and 250 pounds um, it's not an acceptable protein substitute every time that I've eaten peanut butter it explodes me so um, those are just some things that I have learned uh, through my trials um, but my my body is so much happier um you know like i said just look i mean look at where i used to be go back to my first video and i'm a lot more wrinkly <laughs> but i am you know so much lighter i mean you know my belly i've still got a belly but yeah anyway sorry <sighs> my camo shorts sorry about that but anyway so there's that there's all that that's been going on my new job um my uh grandson who i love is taking a lot of my time he lives with us uh braylon is <sighs> such a wonderful human and uh, yeah he's been he's been an inspiration and a uh, and a cause of concern and a cause of delay <laughs> a cause of you know all the things that you don't like and all the things that you love you know um 
he's staying with us with his mama and daddy so it's not like you know 24 7 you know grandpa time but there's a lot of grandpa time and that's good and uh we're learning things and he's just growing so much i'll have to i'll have to get him on here sometime but right now i've got the house to myself which is why i'm doing these so um Reaction videos are kind of sporadic, and yes, they are. I'm going to do some today. I, I hope you all enjoy them. Uh, there's been a bunch that have been waiting for for this to happen, uh, for me to get some time, and I hope that I have a little bit of time to do it. I'm wasting some of it right now, but wanted to just, just talk to you guys. Just say, hey, you know, here I am in front of my, you know, the solar system, and the, the junk behind the solar system. You know, this is my closet. It's my wife's computer over there. You know, not trying to, I just try to cover up the, the mess, you know, because right now life is messy. Um, you know, here's my air conditioner over here. Ooh, look at that. It's off right now because it makes too much noise. It's a hundred and something degrees outside. So it's rapidly warming up in here. But that's okay. Because I wanted to do some things for you guys. Um, one of the things I wanted to say is, you know, I'll, reactions are going to happen when they happen. Um, trying to keep my little nature walk videos, um, the stuff that I find down at the river, the little shorts doing a bunch of those doing one two a day trying to uh went and recorded some earlier you know tried not to have a heat stroke <laughs> getting too old uh is one thing you know i'm only 51 but man 51 feels like you know a good excuse <laughs> good excuse to be lazy and not do a lot of crazy stuff but, you know, I fell today. I was crawling up to try to take a picture of water, try to take a video of a waterfall. And I slipped and busted my butt. Slid down the thing, got a big scratch on my back. My wife took care of it. She's a wonderful human. Um, we've been married for 26 years. Together 27. Going to be... Going to be... 27 in October she's a great person um, you know she's the balance to me who is so calm and so she's the yin to my yang you know she, I'm, I'm a calm and she is a fury you know that's just the way it works and you know there are times when it makes it real difficult but we serve each other well um, in the in the daily course of life I think <sighs> things could be better all around but things could be a lot worse um, you know I don't hit you guys up for a lot of things and I'm not going to today but if you subscribe you know I said that word the S word um, I don't like saying it I don't say it in my videos every day, but you know, like some videos, subscribe to some stuff, listen to my Mighty Kind videos, check out, see if you'd be interested in my book series. It's all in the links and all the chat in all the descriptions and all the things. So do that if you want to kind of help out. The job I got, I love it, but it's not a lot of money. It's just, it is just not a lot of money, you know? that's okay I don't expect it to be a lot of money because I sacrificed the chase for dollars for the chase for you know a more sane life a more connected with the world and my family kind of life and you know financial stuff yeah it's real you know here in the United States of poor America 
because we're all poor. We're all living, you know, it's just the level that you're living hand to mouth is different because, you know, you have a $1.7 million house, but you've also got a $1.8 million mortgage. You've got a, you know, Ferrari in the garage, but you've also got bills to pay for that Ferrari and the garage and all the things. You know, it doesn't matter because they keep you the 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 whole, you know, way of life right now is to you know consume to your level of of comfort basically. And you consume as much as you can and you get more and more things and you make more and more money and you acquire more and more payments and loans and debts and, and things. And I'm sure there's a way out of it, but you know, even the people who are making all the money, they're still paying all the money, but there's a point break past that. And once you get past that point break, I don't know what it is. I'm just an old hillbilly. But then you can actually, oh, don't have to worry about money anymore. But right now, the level that you don't have to worry about money, you know, people think millionaires. No, P millionaires are still worried about money. Millionaires are still hustling, but, you know, if they can or if they want to, or if they have the desire. Sometimes you just run out of des desire to fight for money, fighting the system. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing now is I'm just moving bottles around, you know, take them from one place. Oh, take in a shipment of bottles, put those in place and then take them from that place and put them in another place so they can go on the shelves and then take them from that place to the shelves and then take them from the shelves to the customer's bag and then send them on their way. And then the bottle disappears, but there are 50 more behind it. Um, you know, that's okay that you know job security whatever you want to call it but i don't make a lot of money doing it um you know and once again that's not my goal right now my goal is not making a lot of money um with my work with my time um i want to spend it in a more you know traditionally human fashion Or I'm enjoying time no matter what that time is it may be watching videos about colors and shapes and one two threes you know and thank you for the content providers who make that he's entertained and he's educated cheers So, let's see. Do I have a timer on this thing? Oh, yeah, 20 minutes. <laughs> that's fine. That's well and groovy enough. So, that's enough of me ranting and, you know, consist bleh, bleh, me being consistently on the verge of tears. Um, you know, you guys are awesome. Um, all my subscribers, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I don't know why. I don't understand. But this is, a, that's a lot of people for an old hillbilly. I mean, it's like 2,800 and something people now that are, you know, that have said, hey, I want to see more of this t silly person stuff. And if you're watching this, then you're probably one of them because, you know, it showed up in your feed and you're like, hey, what's this goofy hillbilly doing but you guys are awesome and I appreciate you and I want you to know that so thank you so much for listening to me talk about stuff and I will catch you in the next one peace